how you doing today? I got in an MSI laptop here. This is brand new. And we're gonna open it up and do a repaste. This one, it's an, I believe, it's a GF62. It comes with an i Core 5, 8 generation, 8 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte of hard drive. So you wanna flip it down, upside down, and you wanna remove all the screws at the bottom. And you wanna see one extra screw here under the paper cover, warranty cover. You wanna remove that too. The screws all, they are the same size, so there's no difference. So you can just mix them around. So once you remove all the screws, the fronts, the sides, one in the middle. So next thing you wanna do, you wanna open it up in 45 degree angle, just like that, and hold it. And then you wanna grab a guitar pick or an opening tool. And you wanna shove it right in between the top and the bottom cover. And you wanna just twist it around. Just twist in front, go all the way in front. And once you did that, you wanna do the side where the jack is, the power jack is. Okay, once you did the power jack side, you don't need to do the other side, the USB side. You wanna put it back down. And then you want to grab it from this side where the power jack is and then you want to wiggle it around and let me see if I missed the screw no and then you want to move the corner where the hinges is and then lift it up and then push it towards this other side so you can actually remove it because otherwise if you try to pick it up from this side you won't be able to lift it up because of the USB ports so you have to actually push it this way all right, now down here, we got the two RAM dims. If you wanna upgrade the RAM, you just can put it right here so you can have a dual channel. You have a space for M.2 NVMe right here. And mechanical hard drive, Wi-Fi board. And as you can see, the processor is here. The CPU, you have a two copper tipping going over here and three on the GPU. One is sharing, almost half sharing with the CPU and two for the GPU and one for the component which is being shared right at the condenser. All right, first thing first, we wanna remove the battery by removing one screw right over there. The screw is the same size as the rest of the case and then you can just lift it up. Next, we want to remove the screws for the fan, which is one right there, one on the other side, one in here by the Wi-Fi, and one right under the ribbon cable where the LCD cable goes. So what do you want to do? You want to lift up this ribbon cable, right? the tape, I mean. Just the tape right there next you want to lift up this hinge right here 45 degree angle right here just put your fingernail right underneath and just lift it up 45 as right here and now you can just go and slide out the ribbon cable and just unhook it make sure it's right there now we can go ahead and remove the four screws for the GPU and four screws for the CPU X clamp. All right, next you want to lift it up from here, from this side, and just lift up it slowly. Make sure there's no more screws right there. Right there. Oh, by the way, remove the fan cables right here. Just pull out, there's one right over here, by the Wi-Fi. And the cables. And there we have it. So the GPU and the GPU VRAMs are right over here. The rest of the components are right here. You don't need to change the thermal pads or anything like that. Leave them as it is. Now you can either put a thermal paste here or you can just apply a liquid metal. I, may, I did another video how to apply a liquid metal and if you wanna do it, you can just easily do it. But in this case, we're gonna apply a 
thermal paste. We're gonna just replace it. So what we wanna do, we wanna grab an alcohol and we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste on the CPU and the GPU. No need to remove the Kapton tape, the black one. If you do, it's okay. One thing I did, I really don't like how the copper blocks right here, they're really scratchy and they're really imperfect. If you put your nails right here, you can feel it really, really horrible. It's not even nice and polished or anything like that. There's lots of scratches going on right here. So those micro scratches, they're not good. So that's why I use a thermal paste. Don't use a liquid metal. Use a thermal paste to fill up all these big, huge gaps right there. All right, I'm gonna use an Arctic MX4 and we're gonna apply a tiny amount on the cpu and one block right in the gpu all right once we have that in there we're gonna grab this side we're gonna hold it in a position so we can grab the cable for the wi-fi put the cables right there can just remove the cables for the Wi-Fi, but I don't want to. Alright, once we have it in the position that we want, you can lower this slowly and gently right over. Now we're gonna put the screws for the CPU and the GPU. Make sure you always cross stitch them. Um, put the four screws, two on each of the fans. All right, now we're gonna roll in the cable for the LCD right back between the gaps. And we're gonna place it right under the jack. Make sure it's evenly in and close it. If you want, you can go ahead and put this right over so it doesn't open. Plug in the fan cables. Always make sure you plug in the fan cables. Just double check, make sure it's not lifted. Everything is nice in place. The thermal pads, check it in different angles. And last thing, we're gonna grab the battery. Slide it in, put it in, put the screw for it, and there we have it. And the last thing is to grab the top cover, put down the, where the USB connectors are, this side down first, make sure it goes in, and then push the hinge side down, push the corners, make sure you hear those click sounds in the front end, on the sides, in the back. And the last thing is to put all the screws back in. They're all the same size again. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, you know where to leave them. And I hope I see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.